Good morning, y'all. Today is October 12th, and I am finally getting my braces off. I've had these on since I was in high school, and I'm so freaking excited to get them off. My appointment isn't until 9.30, but I got up early so I can go ahead and get on the road because you guys know my orthodontist is in my hometown. Whew, I'm out of breath. I can't wait to go see my dermatologist because my skin has been acting a fool ever since I stopped taking birth control. And... I'm not trying to be on birth control for the rest of my life. So I'm hoping that she can prescribe something to me that does not involve birth control. Other than that, I'm excited to be getting my braces off. Here's a close up of what they're looking like. The time is now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on this road so I can transform into someone without braces. Out of looking 12 years old, okay? All right, so I'm going to update you guys because in a previous clip, you guys saw that I was getting my braces off and my braces have been off for a while. I think that clip was on October 13th. It's December 1st, y'all. So as y'all can see, I have my retainer in and I've been telling you guys that in the previous vlogs because I haven't updated you guys on my braces treatment. Um, I got my braces off a few weeks ago, and I was told to wear my retainer for six weeks, six, eight weeks, and today was my retainer appointment. So since getting my braces removed, here's what my teeth look like now. My teeth are straight. Um, I feel like it's still a little crooked in, on the right side, like when I put my teeth together, I still have some space open on the right. But this was as good as he could get. I don't know if you guys know if you're new here, but I have had braces for a very long time. I want to say like maybe six, going on seven years because of military things, I would have to get them removed and put back on. So finally made it to the end of my treatment, and that is the final result of my braces treatment. I feel like my teeth are at a good spot. I'm happy with my teeth, and I'm just glad to be done so moving forward on january 11th i will be getting some gum tissue removed because on my upper row i have a lot of gum tissue that's covering my teeth and i would like more teeth to show so he'll be doing that and i'm excited so i'll just keep you guys updated but other than that that's an update on my braces no more braces now i have to talk with a list now that my retainer appointment has been done and everything looks good i don't have to wear my retainers 24 7 like i was having to do so now i just have to wear them at night but i feel like i'm so accustomed to wearing them 24 7 i'll still do that but we'll see how it goes now back to the regular vlog because i had to insert this clip what's up y'all it is thursday um i'm getting ready to go to Walgreens because I need a flu shot for the army and I wanted to bring you guys along with me I'm also noticing that being an adult is a lot and I need a planner So if I have enough time while I'm on my lunch break, I want to stop by Target to see what kind of I'm sure y'all hear I'm sure y'all can hear my clothes going crazy. I'm currently doing laundry. So I got a heavy load with that and I will be back to work shortly, so let's go. My car is so dirty. Ah. All right, y'all make sure y'all lock y'all doors when y'all get in the car. Y'all love to get in the car and just sit. Mm -mm. Early Saturday morning, I'm driving down to Columbia for my oil change and then I'm also going to a baby shower on Saturday, so that should be fun. I'm looking at the sticker that they put in your car. It says I'm due for one on November 23rd. I'm right on time. Why is Waze always trying to take me the long way? Like, I literally just passed Walgreens. I'm new to the area, so obviously I'm following a GPS. It's making me drive past Walgreens and bust a U-turn when I could have just turned left a block back. Like, it doesn't make sense. Make it make sense, Waze. Make it make sense. I made it, y'all. I already know it's going to be a line in here, and that's going to just make me mad. Walgreens, Walgreens, Walgreens. I need a flu shot, Walgreens. So I'm done with my flu shot. They had me in and out, despite the fact that they told me that I had to refill out a form that I did online specifically so I wouldn't have to do it once I got to Walgreens. But nonetheless, I was not there longer than 15 minutes. Really not more than 10 minutes, but I'm in the Target parking lot about to park so we can go inside of Target to find 
Um, a pack of pens and a planner. Target. Y'all need to get used to vlogging in public again. Our Target has an Ulta. So cool. I don't need anything from this section, so I'm going to leave. We're in the right section. It is, it's too small. Dang. Let me look and see which one. If I can find one. Alright, so I ended up going with this planner. It's black. It's small. And it should help me get back on track. It has the month and week. Because I have been all over the place and I need this. I was able to get my flu shot, go to Target. Walgreens and Target are right next to each other. Maybe like 30 more minutes. So I am going to go ahead and go to Walmart because I'm going to stop and get a few things for the apartment so I can have something to eat um, because there's no groceries. So I'm going to go to Walmart, get some things. Tonight is supposed to be a very bad storm and it's supposed to go through till tomorrow. And I already have a busy weekend on Saturday and Sunday, so I just know I won't be able to go grocery shopping this weekend. I'm just gonna get a few things to hold me over until the next time that I can go grocery shopping. I guess I could have got my food shop from here. Okay. Let me get a cart. Okay, here's an overview of everything that I got today at Walmart. I want you guys to comment down below how much you think everything costs. I'm gonna show you guys everything. And I'm gonna tell you guys how much I spent at Walmart. And don't judge my food because it's not healthy, okay? I got chips, fruit snacks, tortillas for tacos, little pizzas to make for lunch when I'm working from home. I needed some more bacon. Shredded cheese, lettuce um, for tacos, ground beef for tacos, cheese for sandwiches. Got some beef patties for burgers, shrimp. What are these? Pork chops, thin chops. I got two Minute Maid juices. I got 12 Lunchables, <laughs> the off-brand kind, of course, for lunch. I like to bring those to lunch for work when I do go in the office. I needed some more of these for my plug-ins. I got some corn and green beans and a pizza. So, if you plan on moving out, just be prepared to buy groceries because it's not every day that you can go out to eat like you did when you was living at your mama's house. All of that was $93.79 at Walmart. I'm about to put all these groceries up and I still haven't ate lunch, but I do. It is about that time for me to clock back in since I've been out my entire lunch break. So I'm about to put these up. Y'all see how empty my um, freezer and fridge is? It was about that time to go grocery shopping. <laughs> I have leftovers from last night. I got Roger Woods, juice, crumble cookies. Like, where's the food? Spicy chicken sandwiches, waffles, and there's a hot pocket in here. I got hash browns, the diced and shredded, and french fries. As y'all can see, I needed some groceries. It's been a minute. Whew, ciao. Also, if you guys are anything like me and drink a lot of water, I do recommend purchasing a Brita so you guys don't have to keep um, restocking on water bottles. I mean, if you prefer water bottles, that's fine, but one, I don't wanna keep purchasing water bottles. Two, I'm not carrying it up these stairs because my apartment does not have an elevator. I'm 
about to transfer the rest of these chips into this box since I only have like three bags left in here. I'm so glad I got some more of these because they smell so good. They typically last about three weeks. What does this say? You know this thing be lying. Talking about some for 100 days. First day fresh. You're right. And mine probably run out fast because I have them on the extreme setting because I just want it to smell so good all the time. This smells like sour gummies. Like the sweet kind. I hope that doesn't turn anyone off. Like why would you want your house to smell like sour gummies? But... I don't know, that's what I smell. This is the This is the Hawaiian Aloha scent. If I could get it to open, that would be great. Alright, I'm good to go. I like to put one right next to the door so when people walk in, they can smell that. So that's one. I have another one in my bathroom. And then I like to put this one. <sighs> Usually I put one in my bedroom. All right, I need to get back to work. Before I get back to work, let me show y'all how I feel like I didn't even make a dent in the fridge or freezer. Like, I still feel like I have no food, but I just spent $93 on groceries. What? That's weird. Here's my pantry i have bread the tortillas are up there my chips syrup butter ramen noodles i love ramen noodles i have some fruit loops and cinnamon toast crunch my fruit snacks and my i don't know condiments i got a whole bunch of rice <laughs> and pancake mix my seasoning and my canned goods are in here it's kind of messy so i'm not gonna open that up good morning y'all it's the next day and it's lunch time i'm getting my life together because i would like to try kava for the first time and that's what i'm about to do this morning i paid some bills who says that with a smile on their face i got some bills paid this morning that feels weird to say, but I put some money towards one of my credit cards. I only have two credit cards and I paid a student loan. <sighs> Y'all, these student loans, if you have private student loans, bro, mm, mm -hmm. that's a topic for another day. I placed an order from Kaba, so I'm about to go pick that up, but I did not notice that they didn't open until 11 a.m. and I ordered it like at 10 30 so hopefully the order went through so it's ready when i get there my mom's currently in chicago uh, until next time chicago is so beautiful but yeah let's go to kava i made it to kava my first time Honey. i made it back let me turn the light on so y'all can see. Kava. Pretty light bowl. I was expecting it to be filled to the rim. So I got a greens and grains bowl. Half super greens, half brown rice. Um, grilled chicken, crazy feta. What's that? Zatiki sauce or spread, tomatoes and cucumber, fire roasted corn, avocado, and pita crisps. <sighs> Why do I say crisp like that? But here's what it's looking like. Looks good. Pita crisps look like. I'm excited to try. Let me pray. Amen. All right. Woo. Smells good. Mm. That chicken's good. Also got garlic sauce too. I checked out Lex's TikTok and she sent me what she usually gets. So I had to do it. One more bite before I start eating 
like no one's watching. To mix this up. I wish they had romaine lettuce, but this will definitely suffice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is good, y'all. It's a chicken salad. I want to give you guys my kava review. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. However, I feel like it may be a little too overhyped or I'm just not getting the right thing. Or the kava where I'm located sucks. So the first bite was really good. Like the first few bites were really good. But the more I ate it, my taste buds weren't really feeling it. I really enjoyed the pita chips, but then I realized that they just felt really greasy and oily i don't know i wasn't really a fan of that i feel like if i were to get romaine lettuce instead of the super greens i feel like that would have been better maybe it was the the tzatziki sauce i don't know if i really like that i should probably i probably should have tried that before i mixed it all together but i ended up doing that anyway but overall i give it a six out of ten and i don't plan on going back anytime soon but when i do because i know i will I would need romaine lettuce for sure. I'm not gonna do avocados next time. And instead of getting the pita chips, are these the chips or the crisps? I don't know, but the, the big ones are really greasy. I don't really like the grease. Overall, I have the itis now because I ate my food up, not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna lie, y'all, for somebody who gives it a six out of 10, I sure did tear that food up, okay? Really good. I'm tired. Uh, I have to get some work done. I just found a perfect spot for my camera in my kitchen. I have some leftovers from last night. I ordered Chinese. I found a great Chinese spot in Charlotte. So, look how much leftovers I have. This could probably last like three nights. I mean, I don't have a lot of rice left, but I can whip up some rice easy. I got shrimp fried rice. I'm about to warm this up so I can eat lunch. I had breakfast this morning. I had, um, what did I eat for breakfast? I had blueberry bagels with um, cream cheese. But this right here is gonna hit, bro. I'm just so hungry right now and I don't know why. Um, work is pretty smooth today. So for the month of November, if you guys don't know, I am a designer for I my occupation. Is occupation my career is graphic design um so i am doing so for the month of november i'm covering the world cup the world cup starts on november 20th if you guys don't watch soccer the world cup is very fun to watch so make sure you guys tune into that i will be covering the world cup this month so that's basically all that we've been preparing for so far y'all i'm starving i can't that's about it. I just wanted to say hey to you guys. I'm gonna eat and watch Only One Jess on YouTube. She's kind of washed out because I have the brightness all the way up, but love watching her. And I'm gonna eat. I got some sesame seed chicken. Ooh. To me, Chinese food tastes better on day two. Got some duck sauce. I'm gonna put that on the rice. One thing I did not like about their rice is that it's kind of dry. And I'm not a duck sauce type of girl. And where I come from, the um, rice is not dry. So I'm learning to like duck sauce here. I'm going to open up this fortune cookie and read it with y'all. I don't even eat fortune cookies. But I want to know what's in this thing. So Ooh, this will burn. Ain't nothing in here. Where's my fortune? I have another one, but I'm just too hungry to open it right now. That was a waste of time. The rice need a little longer in the microwave. Good job, good job. I'm leaving the bank, but I wanted to get on here to show y'all that I got my hair done yesterday. I've had those braids in since I moved into my apartment, so about five weeks, so I was due for a new hairstyle, and y'all know it's soap press season, so I'm feeling it. My hair has grew so much, 
and I'm impressed. I guess that's what happens when you keep braids in all summer, all year long, I guess. I got a little puffiness right here going on though. I don't know what happened here. So today is Monday and for the very first time ever, I decided to purchase one week's worth of HelloFresh just to try them out. Just so I can try them out. They have this hero discount thing. So if you work in the medical field, if you're in the military veteran, all that good stuff, they have a coupon. So I was like, you know what, why not? Kiana influenced me to do so. So I have the box right here. Here's the HelloFresh box. I think I ordered it on Thursday and they do it every Monday. This is not an ad. So I'm not gonna make it seem like an ad. I just wanted to show you guys that I got HelloFresh. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it now so that way when it is time for me to cook dinner, it's currently four or three. When it is time for me to cook dinner, it's already unboxed and I can go ahead and start cooking. But I did want to unbox it with you guys so you guys can see what I got for my three meals this week. This is honestly so cool. This is not sponsored, so. This is what it looks like when you open the box. It has the recipe sheets at the top. I got mustard, apricot, pork tenderloin. Um, Thai coconut curry chicken. And grilled onion cheeseburger. Something that I learned about HelloFresh ordering and not being sponsored by them is that they pick out your three meals. So you can't pick out the meals that you want. You do get to decide like what type of meals you want to get, like whether it be vegetarian, pescatarian, if you like meat and veggies. So that's what you get to pick. But other than that, they have set meals for, they have set meals that they choose from that they send to you each week based on your family and the serving size. Here's the bags of the food. So I'll show you guys more once I start cooking later. Hey, hey. 